Hey, hope everyone's doing good today. Well, the new Apple Watch Series 6 is out today. We're going to give you some information and then some symbolism in the end. So let's get to it. Apple Watch Series 6 in six minutes. That's right, they're titled, not mine. Here are the different models that they offered and showed us. And they explain the infrared lighting so that it can shine on your wrist to measure your blood pressure. Advanced Using advanced algorithms to calculate the color of your blood that indicates the amount of oxygen present. Using green and red lights for this. It can do this in just a matter of 15 seconds or less. And if you leave it on all night, it'll record as you sleep. Many different styles and patterns that you can have on your watch and different ways to see the time. They collaborated with artist Jeff McFetridge and you can also have emoji faces on your watch. It's a great watch for surfers, so you can see tide changes, for the swimmers for laps, photographers for the sun, for doctors too, so you can see your schedule. And you can also have a braided silicone thread. Hmm. And it's all in a solo loop. Very simple and easy. And also with your Apple Pay, you can make payments very easily and also have Siri help you wherever you need help. And it's so good that you can even set up your family with these watches even if they don't own an Apple phone. And as low as $279 and $399. Different styles, Series 6, SE and S3. Great watch for those who want to keep up with this technology. But does this seem too good to be true? Well, it usually is in my opinion, and I see so many major red flags. So, good and evil, yes, there's good and evil in everything, absolutely, and that's what we're going to look at right here. So, as I was watching my Apple TV, I noticed these two ladies. I do not have it attached because I couldn't find it anywhere. But let's look over the symbolism that I saw because I took a few pictures then. So these two ladies showing they're happy to be wearing this Apple Watch. Yep, and look at the symbolism behind them. And right here she had to show with her hands exactly how excited she was to use this watch. Ugh. They want to track and trace you and your kids all day and all night. Yep, that's what they want. So don't take that off. And then trying to combine technology to diagnose respiratory diseases such as what we're having right now. And so my thought is that because they want to put us into quarantine even more. Well, I don't know, just my first thoughts. And of course on the GMA, uh, Good Morning America, they had a snippet and that's the heart rate that she showed right there. Interesting, isn't it? Oh, but it's great exercise and it'll show you all the features you want but of course they had to add in the yoga part of course two and one you see the apple it's a six and 99 I mean I see it everywhere they have to have it like that for whatever reason of course they when you look on their website this goes so quickly I had to slow it down and you could clearly see they brought the two together to show the vesica Pisces. Of course here up top you see the lightning two times. The time is put at this time exactly with the seconds here. Oh, sorry about that because in my opinion it looks just like this. The triangle with of course the eye at the top, right? So we'll get into the arch on the next video but anyway let's move on. Jeff McFetridge. Well I found some very interesting artwork. He's a Canadian. He's been given many awards, been on everything, so you know he's connected. I don't know anything more, but that's enough said for this because I'm not looking into him for this. So what else did I see? Of course you saw the one-eye symbolism, right? Several times. And if you look on their website, it started with the scrolling of a purple. Purple six. Well that means magic, royalty, power, uh, many things many many things but interesting that they started with that color 
And they also had this one, an octopus. So Nicholson 1968 showed a clip and I think maybe we need to look at that together. It's uh, KJ speaking, but he has it on his website. Let's go. Now the symbol I wanted to talk about is the octopus, the Illuminati octopus, right? Well, not exactly. And as I said before, you can essentially look at all of these different symbols as branches from the same tree, ultimately meaning the same thing. The end is near, for real. So this right here was from one of the Olympic ceremonies a while back, and a lot of people did videos on this whole ceremony. I did as well. So much symbolism happening there. It was just insane. And really, since then, we've seen it just go nonstop. I mean, it's at the Super Bowl now, right? It's all over the place. So they literally do these public prophetic plays right before the public's eyes. And so few people see all the things they're doing. But man, it gets deep, right? So the octopus. Now, I've actually covered the octopus symbolism in some other videos as well, just touched on it. But the reason I made this video is I recently saw some really interesting examples pop up. But the octopus. Now, there's actually a really long history to octopus symbolism. The symbolism of the octopus is played out in so many different arenas and in so many different ways. But so many times it essentially represents the same thing. This kind of goes back to that black goo I was talking about, or that Borg, or that kind of one mind system, one consciousness. And this even extends into some of that transhumanism stuff. Now, a lot of people have covered that as well. That whole idea that they want us all to be of one mind, right? Connected through computers and humans. And connecting computers, connecting humans. So there you have it. And then also they ended off that slideshow with a color pink, a very light pink, which reminded me as well of the Vesica Pisces, if you want to say it like that, or the female body part, which represents to them Isis and Maat and who knows what else. I just found that very interesting. Of course, we see more the one eye symbolism, the gender equality, which they want to have gender fluidity. And that's a whole other story I could show at a later time. Of course, they show the cube as well later. And we all understand what the cube really means, right? But then they also, he's standing under the black sun. So, and then of course, the title, Six in Six Minutes. Just unbelievable. So my opinion, whether they can track and figure out whether you have the CV or anything like that with this watch, I don't know. But why would anyone want an infrared light pulsating at their skin constantly is my question. And what are they really up to? Look, I don't know. All I know is that they want control. That's what I can understand. They do want full control. So I wouldn't go and purchase this watch because it's a risk. Don't take that risk, in my opinion. Because I, as well as many others who listen to my channel, have understood that they want to change our DNA. That's understood. And I'll end it with this short clip here of uh, Shaking My Head, who just posted this not long ago. Movies and TV shows and video games, that these are the things that they believe. Because it's a lot easier to simply say that they believe these crazy things than to actually show it. So I actually want to take a look at all these things that they're producing so that you can see they're putting these ideas into their content. And the reason that they are doing that is because they want to slowly indoctrinate more and more people. It's like when you tell a fictional story and it's nonsensical, at first people reject it offhandedly. But the more you tell it, and the more you put it in front of them, especially in this way, like subconsciously, they're speaking and teaching you on a subconscious level that these things are not absurd, that it's not crazy to think this, and that's how they get you. They keep showing it to you over and over and over and over again, until finally, because you've seen it so many times, it starts to seem plausible, like that actually could be the way it is, that could be the truth. But in reality, it's just that same absurdity from before. 
before, it's just now been wrapped in something appealing, and that is your favorite movie, or your favorite game, or your favorite book, or your favorite TV show. So that essentially what they've done is they've sugarcoated this lie, this absurdity, that if you would have heard it on its own, you would have rejected it wholeheartedly. But now, they bring it to you wrapped in bows, and you swallow the whole thing, sugarcoatedness and the poisonous center, the lie, the absurdity, that you would have never accepted on its own. So, to begin... So remember to trust God through the storm. And it's okay not to have all the answers right away. All we can do is trust in Him and pray. Alright, that's it. I hope that brought some clarity to somebody out there. And I would not be wearing that watch. But that's my opinion. It's your choice. God bless. Take care. Till next time.